That's right, we're not going to have a lot of sunshine today. It's mostly going to be some clown cover. Pretty gloomy Tuesday. A good day to stay inside, maybe watch a few movies and just take a nice little nap because, you know, it's going to be pretty cold and rainy throughout much of the afternoon. It's going to be an unsettled week ahead, so we're going to see several days like this, and then we're going to turn nor warmer heading into next week, but we're also going to see the rain continue. So as we take a look at the national view, here's kind of the main culprit of the rain showers we're seeing. It's a cold front that's approaching and starting to to stall out over our area. You can see much colder temperatures out to our north, but again, the rain has been coming down for much of the morning, especially north of Highway 82 and along I-55 between Memphis and Jackson. Also quite a bit of rain showers breaking out across northern Louisiana into portions of Arkansas, and as we zoom in here, you can just see periods of rain continuing. Again, it's not going to be a washout, but there's definitely going to be some heavier periods of rain. Right now, the heaviest rain coming down in Grenada, Carroll, and Montgomery counties, and we'll continue to to see those showers moving along Highway 82 as we advance through the rest of the morning. And as for temperatures, pretty chilly out there. 47 in Greenwood and Cleveland, 45 in Pine Bluff, 48 in Greenville, and a little bit colder off to our east, Columbus Meridian in the lower 40s. But overall, it's a chilly start and we're really not going to budge all that much. So we may warm another two to three degrees, but with that cloud cover and rain, you know, it's just going to be hard for those temperatures to really warm up too much throughout the afternoon. And again, the rain will continue through much of the morning before gradually tapering off north of Highway 82. That front's going to start to push to the south, and that's going to push that axis of rain into the south delta just north of I-20. So again, if you haven't seen rain yet, you will a little bit later on. And then as we go through the evening, the rain looks to gradually taper off. And as we go into the overnight hours, other than a few light showers here or there, it looks like the rain should end by tomorrow morning as temperatures gradually drop back into the upper 30s with some locations potentially into the mid 30s, especially along I-55. And it looks like Wednesday is going to be relatively calm with mostly cloudy skies. But again, the highest rain chances look to be right along Highway 82 and northbound this morning into the afternoon. And again, this dark area, which represents the highest chances of rain, begins to shift a little further south as we head into the evening. And as for your temperature trend, going to be pretty close to average the next several days. Really, the next four or five days, pretty close to average before we really start to warm up heading into the weekend or the end of the weekend, I should say. And as we take a look at the long term trend, we have about a 70 to 80 percent chance of seeing those above average temperatures through the middle of January. So, you know, a couple weeks ago we had that wintry weather. It doesn't look like any of that's in the forecast anytime soon. In fact, we'll probably see some 70s come back into the forecast if this pattern holds. But not today. It's going to be pretty chilly. We're going to see temperatures around 53. Periods of rain continuing before tapering off. And again, highs going to top out at 51 in Carrollton, 53 in Batesville, 51 in Indianola and Hollandale. So again, we're not going to warm up too much from where we're at now. And then by tonight, lows in the upper 30s. Rain showers ending remaining cloudy and as we wake up tomorrow morning mid 30s from Batesville to Carrollton a little bit closer to 40 the further south and west you go but still it's going to be a pretty chilly morning as you wake up for Wednesday and then we're going to see the clouds around maybe some peaks of sunshine here and there a few showers coming in late and when I say late I mean after 10 p.m. most of the rain coming in Wednesday night and continuing into Thursday and maybe even Friday temperatures generally going to be in the 50s but as we go into Monday we could see some thunderstorms as those temperatures start to return to near 70 degrees, so some warmer weather on the way.